I just watch the views, innit? Numbers don't lie, really. Not comments, are, can, you can lie in a comment, yeah. you can't lie in a number. So it's like, if a man's waking up, one of the TikToks or songs got over 100k or 200k, something's good about it. You know what I'm trying to say? It's attracting attention. So I'll just go off the numbers. I'm not really going to go off of um, what people are saying all the time. Sometimes you can, but I'd rather go off of what people Is it want to hear and that. Yeah, is it not difficult to because obviously as you as you grow and as you get bigger everyone's got an opinion and now that especially now like in the 2020s and everything with social media being as big as it is everyone feels connected like they feel like they know the artists just because they see more of them so how hard is it to shut out because it's a lot of coming from different directions sometimes it's a hate sometimes it's genuine fans so how do you balance what what to ignore and what to take in yeah Obviously, sometimes you want to smack them up, but you know what I'm saying? It's the internet, bro. It's not real. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Literally, like, you can't can't take that on board, bro. But I get it still because it's happened to man before. Like, man will be getting a whole leap of love and then there'll be one negative comment and it's that man didn't even fucking... I'm allowed to swear. So, like, yeah, man didn't even let that... Um, like, I didn't taking the good comments, all those hundreds of good comments, as much as I took in the negative thing. You know what I'm saying? The negative thing has ruined hours of man's day. You know what I'm trying to say? Having man overthinking that. So it's like, you've got to start learning to don't be that dumb to take that in when you just got a hundred good comments. You know what I'm trying to say? Literally. Obviously, if you're getting a hundred negative comments a day, you still might be doing something right, but you might want to think about what you're saying or what you're doing. You get it? But yeah, man, I wouldn't let negative shit get to man, man. Yeah, and then just within, like, within music, within, like, fans just connecting with your music, obviously a lot of the time it's because they relate. Mm. And with that, you've got to be vulnerable. So how how do you balance between being vulnerable in your music, kind of letting them know what's up, what's in your life, versus, that like, setting boundaries? If it's the music, then for me, there's no boundaries to set, bro. It's music. You're going to feel the music. I ain't going to be online chatting about everything, like, I try my best, and I'm not really the best at being on my social media like that. But in the music, I'll say everything. You know what I'm trying to say? Because same artists I listen to and get inspired from, whether they're American, UK, they're telling me a lot of things that man's gone through or might end up going through. You know what I'm trying to say? So I would say everything in the music. Online, try, I don't know. Try to keep it, I don't know, man. Try to keep it a bit limited, but yeah. I think, it, I think the best outcome would be being yourself, and let people know what it is to be you. You never know who's um, relating to you, you know what I'm trying to say? So you have to be yourself, man. Uh, so what, what was the transition like for you from before you were making music to now, like the different things that you've got to deal with? Like, what's the biggest difference? Obviously your face being bait, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how bait people think I am, but bro, I think... From walking around on the roads, bro, man, it's bait, bro. Like, I didn't know it was going to get like this. You know what I'm trying to say? So for me, just that really, man, everywhere man goes, in London anyway, man's, man gets noticed. So just got to be careful how I step, who I step with. Like there's bare little things that I can't do no more. Like before, you know, you, know you get sent to the shop by, by your nan or, you know what I'm trying to say, man's mum or whatever. Like I just grab something quickly. Now, when my nana and that's trying to send me certain places, it's different, bro. Like, it's hard to explain to her, like, can't just go to the Sainsbury's in my area, car. You know what I mean? You don't know who you're going to see, you know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, man. Little things like that. You would never think that would be something that you'd have to change, but it ends up being just small things that you can't do no more as much. You know what I'm saying? Then, uh, would, you, would you trade, like... How much of that is like the day to day? Like it gets on your nerves and you're like, all right. Nah, nah, never what let you... it get on my nerves, bro. Just adapt, innit? Mm-hmm. Won't let it get on my nerves. Because man, arts for this. Yeah, you wouldn't trade that. Nah, nah, what? nah, nah. Never that, bro. Never trade it. Just adapt, man. You can't you can't expect to do, like, want to do something. Yeah, want to be an artist, actor, or whatever, and not expect to have to adapt to what comes with that. You know what I'm trying to say? Obviously, you can miss it. Like, there's times I miss certain things, but I'm not gonna, I would never trade it. You know what I mean? So what, what would you say to an artist that's starting right now, that's thinking, that's kind of going in, in it a bit naive, like, okay, I'm just making music and that's all it is. 
outside of outside of the booth, the things that they gotta now deal with once um, they blow up. Um Yeah, they just gotta deal with that, like getting noticed, um people having opinions on them. Um, not being able to really have an opinion. Well, you can if you want to be a madman and just one of those artists that just say whatever. You can say whatever if you want in it, but it's difficult. Like how I'd post on social media before, like, I could still do that, but it's not the same, bro. I can't just like I have brethrens, bro, that I'll see just post up anything about anything, bro. You know what I'm trying to say? It could be something that's on the news. It could be something to do with you know the type of things I'm thinking of. You know what I'm trying to say? They can just have an opinion on that, bro. Man can't. You know what I'm trying to say? I could have an opinion on it and it just gets exploited in a different light. And then now, before you know it, you're either cancelled or you're apologising. You know what I'm trying to say? So things like that, you just got to know that you're going to lose certain things that opinions and your um, privacy and... Um, yeah, man. Just got to be ready for those type of things still. Yeah, and as you said, everyone's got an opinion. In in the public eye, obviously, everyone has... Whether you say something or you don't say something, people are out there talking about your opinion. And if you're quiet, sometimes people still will guess and like think, oh, what, what's he thinking? So what's your approach to rumours and like narratives out there about yourself? Nothing really, man. Oh, I'm human, so of course there is times man could look at something that... Because half of the time... Remember, these men don't know, man. And if there's a situation out there between me and somebody else or me and a group of people or just, or just a situation just to do with me, no one on the internet knows. So it's like 90% of the time when I'm looking at it, it's not true. Do you get it? It's not, they don't know nothing about it. So it's like there is times I could look at it and be like, what the? You get me? I get a bit vexed. But half of the time, man, just laugh, bro. I kind of like it. Like, just leave it out there because it's like, you lot will never know. Until I say, you know what I'm trying to say? Or unless you actually find out what's happened or what's going on. So when I see all these different opinions about oh, it could have been this, it could be that, or he's dealing with that or whatever, I just laugh you that don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? But what, what about when, because obviously opinions are opinions, but when something like catches traction and it's like put out there as facts and then certain people that may not know you but might also be kind of public start to, they might not even directly say this happened, but they might you know, hint at it in songs or whatever, and then as it develops, like, how do you, how do you stay true to that kind of mindset of saying, okay, I'll, I'll ignore it versus, because it's got to, like, just as a human, p things out there about you, it's got to get to you a little bit. Me, personally, I've had nothing put out there that's a fact that I didn't put out there. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't have people in my circle that, leak information you know what i'm gonna say i don't have people around man that's gonna, gonna say things so that's the only way like a factual thing about man or a situation i've been in could come out but other than that nothing out there about man is a fact unless i put it out there do you get it? it's the only thing that's going to be a fact bro unless I, there's nothing i've just looked on my phone and been like oh how did they know that or oh, oh, i need to pattern this like so all of it i can just laugh about because none of it's you know what I'm saying? None of it's 100% fact.